Hey, Simmers and Animal Lovers, it's Erin, the Rescue Simmer. I am just coming at you with a kind of a mini episode of the shelter play along. We have Leah, who comes to us from Coastal German Shepherds Rescue of Orange County, County, California, pardon me. Uh, she was voted in by you guys. Caleb, of course, is our teen who just aged up taking Leah for a jog because she just got here. He wants to make her feel acclimated. He wants to tire her out because she is a nervous little gal. While he is doing that, we have a couple of businesses to attend to. So, oh my goodness, we have Hugo taking care of an absolutely filthy pixel. Now, while Caleb aged up and we got to give him a little bit of a makeover, both Hugo, his dad, and Amy, his mom, are looking very much the same, even though they have entered into a new life stage. So they are now fully adults. They're not young adults anymore. I like to think of this time frame as being about, ooh, 35-ish on for the next about 20 years, they'll be in this stage. We also have a boy's bedroom to make over. Caleb is no longer a child, he is a teen, and I think that his bedroom could be aged up a little bit. So we're also gonna be doing that in this sort of mini episode. This is not going to be the actual episode of the week, so don't worry, you guys, I have gameplay coming. But let's do a cast and build video. So first order of business, we are gonna pop into build mode. And I wanna take some of the personal effects from Caleb and put them in our inventory. Definitely wanna be saving things like his birth certificate, his pictures of his mom and dad, his school project that he did, just little things like that. You guys, I'm so excited that he's gonna be able to take pictures with his mom and dad. As a child, he wasn't able to, and that really bothered me. But now we're gonna get photo evidence that they actually have a son. Okay, so I'm thinking that that's all of his personal kind of doodads that I wanna hold on to. Now let's get to the fun part. I think this bed, Caleb was specifically just a cat lover. He now is into dogs as well. So we're going to make over his bedroom. I love this stuff from cats and dogs and from my first pet stuff. I think it's beautifully themed, but it's a little young for him. Uh, he also does not need this nightlight anymore. So we're just going to be giving back all of this, getting as much money as we can. And I think the little growth chart is super cute, but he's, he's grown out of it. Now I still want to stick with maybe animal themed as it is appropriate for him. I also did the rest of the house in this very coastal kind of vibes. I modeled this house after houses that I saw in coastal cities. I wanted something in their house that was very much gonna fit with the architecture around. And Maine is a state that I saw a lot of this, uh, I wanna call this a hipped roof, but I don't know. Um, this sort of almost like a barn house, made over barn house. Um, a lot of white around the trim. It's got these like three corner roofs. And certainly with the bedrooms and a lot of their door frames and the crown molding, I wanted to carry that to the inside. So I want to, I think Amy and Hugo would both keep a very coherent decorating style. Like Caleb in my mind would be able to do whatever he wanted with it, but the furniture pieces would very much be purchased by Amy and Hugo. Um, this bed from Parenthood kind of has what I'm going for this captain's bed. I think the parenthood packs and cats and dogs packs really complement each other very, very well. Oh, this is kind of perfect. I love that a lot. The pattern on these is amazing. This actually isn't bad either. Okay, I'm going with this one. It's a richer color scheme than I've had before, but we will just sort of deal with that. So we're doing, looks like some tans, some blues, some oranges. And the way that I build is that I will, <laughs> I will kind of interior design first. I'll pick the pattern that I want from the furniture and then I will just make the walls match. Ooh, this is very dark, but I think it could work. That is very bright blue. I don't think I could sleep in that. Oh, this is kind of nice. I really like that. Okay, so it's it's a blue kind of bedroom. I love that. And do we have the option to go orange with these guys? Yeah, we do. Oh, perfect. See, this room is making over itself. Somehow we got this. I think it's from the like a reward from the birthday party, but I don't I don't know. That's a weird reward for a birthday party, but we can use it. That's fine. Oh my gosh. This from Tiny Living is adorable. I want to use that somewhere in this room. See, that's a really nice matching piece. I love that. 
This might have to go. I don't think it has a swatch that matches super well with any of this. And I think Amy and Hugo, because they only have one kid, would really pool a lot of their resources to uh, to just deck out his room. Oh my gosh, you guys, this dresser does not have a matching swatch. <gasps> That's annoying. Oh my goodness. If we went white, they would. Oh my gosh. Okay. In fact, I think I might have picked a really hard swatch to match for their wood tones. Oh my goodness. That's, that's a bummer because it's a really beautiful, rich wood tone. All right. So I'm definitely getting him a desk, maybe to do his homework with. I figured a dresser was just going to be too tight a space, especially with this massive dog bed in here. Yeah. Maybe something a little bit like that. I don't want to put a laptop or anything in here because they have a family computer over this way. Uh, this is the video making station. I think Caleb might be getting us into that a little bit later, but we'll just see how everything goes. For right now, he's got a little office chair. Also, I'm thinking that he's a guy that's gonna like to stay active. So I got him a football. He has a soccer ball already. We'll see if he kind of gets into that. It'll be interesting to see what he gets into in high school, what clubs we can join. I think that's about it for the furniture. Time to decorate. So Caleb aged up with enough credit from elementary school to enter high school as a B student. So this is a very accomplished kid. We are saving his little trophies from elementary school. We've got picture of mom and dad that I think we're gonna keep right about here. Eh, right there maybe. His birth certificate just to prove, you know, that he was born and all. I think Caleb would 100% still keep his little science fair project. I think that that is so cute. And I think mom and dad would probably keep his kids' pictures in their room. I don't think Caleb would be super attached to them. Let's see about some lighting. I love this little lighthouse light here. They are in Brindleton Bay. That's a very Brindleton Bay kind of thing. Let's see about some posters because we have a teen. What is he into? So he's got his cats and dogs posters from when he was a kid. I think that those can stay here, but he's gonna have some more planning that I think he's gonna be doing. So we're gonna put that up. Pride flag would be great. Ooh, you know what? From Discover University, I love this. Um, I think it would have, this swatch has a lot of like cats and dogs things going on. So I would like to think that it has something to do with the shelter, little ideas maybe that he has for it. I'm gonna see if there isn't a swatch that I like better. Maybe that, yeah, I like that. Okay, perfect. Oh, I think that these are a great addition. Those could be hung right above his desk. Maybe as he starts to develop friendships, those can represent some of his friends. Ooh, CDs and stuff. Man, those are a thing from the past. We don't have those anymore. Ooh, that's so cool. She's got like gallery walls and things. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Overachiever. Maybe he could be really into records. I don't see that. Well, he did age up with the loud trait. Maybe he loves himself some music. Who knows? You know what? Right now we'll go with some classics, some art. He was really into art. I think we'll kind of keep it there. Maybe we'll stagger this down a little because that's awful high. Yeah, no, I think that's perfect. Okay. So, so far you guys, this is his bedroom. Okay. So rather than the jungle gym and the swing set, I felt like we should age the backyard up a little bit, not too much, but Caleb is going to be hosting some parties. It is summer. So I wanted to put a slip and slide out here, something that more teens would be able to use. Okay, awesome. So we've got our grill area and little picnic area. We've got our little boom box. So we're ready for some really nice backyard parties if he wants to have any. You guys, let's get on in to create a sim and give Amy and Hugo their makeovers. Alrighty guys, so I definitely think it is time to shorten Amy's hair just a little bit. Um, or at least have it up. I think she's at a point in her life where she just wants to not fuss or muss with it anymore. So let's see what our updo styles have for us. Ooh, I like this one. It's short, it's curly. I've always felt like she's had at least very flowy hair and it is up in a bun. I really kind of like that for her. I think that's really cute. Mm, see, there's always this one as well, which I like. In fact, I think I'm gonna go with that. 
that's a really good look for her. It's still a little bit of length if she wants to have it, but it's mostly up and out of her face. I do wish the red hairs had a graying swatch like the brown hair and the black hair does. I think we're also gonna tone this makeup look down a little bit for her. Something that is just maybe a little bit more simplistic for her eyes. I don't think she's wearing eyeliner. She is not. Okay, we'll keep her that way for her every day. Let's take a look at this MAC makeup. I put her in very pink blush. I don't think that she would do that necessarily anymore. Now let's see about these lips. That matte lip is beautiful, but we're gonna give her just some everyday gloss. There we go, absolutely. She's really getting into that point where she's appreciating her natural beauty. Oh, I love this. It's just sort of an easy style for her, though this is also kind of cute. I do love that. Oh, what about this? Oh, I do love that. That is so cute. I'm really liking this swatch on her. I know you're not supposed to put a redhead in like pinks and fuchsias, but something about Amy just looks really good in it. Hmm. For her formal wear, I really think that I like that. It's got the bang from the everyday. Let's see, what would adult Amy wear to a formal function? Ooh, I'm really loving this as sort of like a classic option for her. If I can just find a swatch that I like. Ooh, I love the green. Not gonna bother her athletic wear her sleepwear. Let's pop her in something a little more comfy cozy. Love that look for a party. Oh, but that one's so pretty. Yes, let's leave that there. What about her hair? Because remember, she is a short haired queen now. I feel like I'm going to forget all of these. <laughs> we'll keep her up in a bun there. It doesn't really make sense. Oh no, we'll put her, put her in that. Yes. Okay. Hair back. Wonderful. She can still keep this for her swimwear. Um, I'm not mad at this for her hot weather wear. She can keep that. And for cold weather, we're just going to put her in something a little shorter. This I think we can update. There we go. Nothing too drastic. I think she knows what works for her. She just kept the same style. Now for Hugo. I'm actually not mad at this. I think we might just change the color to give it some variety. Love the green on him. Oh, let's update his hair. Yes, we're starting to gray just a little bit. Oh my gosh, Hugo, you are growing up, dude. There we go. I think maybe his hairline is receding a little, so I want to give him something that has more of a widow's peak. Ooh, maybe not that, or maybe not receding that far. Ooh, that's perfect. I really love that. Okay, winner, winner. And I don't think middle-aged Hugo wears much jewelry. I think he's just sort of happy to be him. I love his little long johns, but I think we're actually gonna give him a robe if yes that looks so much more cozy for him his party wear i'm thinking can look a little bit more relaxed uh rather than this oh i like this a lot a lot a lot actually yeah i love the red and the brown in the original swatch so we'll just keep it there this is actually not a bad everyday outfit for him i'll keep that and i love this for cold weather wear so we won't change that either so here is updated hugo and updated amy it is surreal to me, you guys, to see everybody getting older and wiser. I remember when Hugo was just a young lad and Amy was just his girlfriend. Not much older than Caleb at that point. I will tell you they are definitely finding as they are getting older, and <laughs> me too, guys, that it is uh, tougher to stay in shape the older you get. We're going to have to really work with them because I know fit sims live longer. We have aging, of course, turned off in this save, but with... I, I still want to make sure that we have them doing healthy habits so that it's believable that they could live longer to see any grandchildren. That would make me very happy. So how are you liking their makeovers? How are you liking Caleb's new room? I know this was kind of a weird one for you. Thank you guys for sitting with me while I took care of some business. This is stuff that I do off camera all the time, but I feel like sometimes I can sort of miss out or have you guys miss out on bonding with the family. I'm really connected to them because I spend so much intimate time with them 
getting to know their traits and really building a style for them and deciding what they would or wouldn't like in their home. And I wanted to take you guys along with me. I will see you in the next gameplay episode later this week. Man, Leah has been barking us through this entire thing. She's very, very vocal, has tons to say. <laughs> Thank you guys for playing along with me. And as always, happy simming.